What's up, guys? So what we're going to discuss today is a generalized overview of gut supplementation. Now, when it comes to gut health, it can be this deep rabbit hole that people get lost in. And what we want to try to do with the products that we have available is basically simplify things for you guys so you know what to take, when to take it, and even when not to take certain supplementation. So I'm going to kind of uh, discuss different scenarios, different pathways that you can go when looking at what product should I take, um, what's gonna be best for my current situation, and then kind of move forward from there. Starting out, most people are gonna start taking gut health products because they may be experiencing different types of symptoms. It could be bloating, it could be irregular bowel movements, it could be uh, foul gas. I mean, there's multiple things that you could deal with when it comes to gut dysbiosis. Now there's different levels of gut dysbiosis. You could have something that's very, very mild, and some of our products will help with that, but you can also have the extreme to where you have like this commensal bacterial overgrowth I and mean, it's a lot deeper issue than what these products can resolve and we'll talk about symptoms to look for uh, and to possibly having to dig a little bit deeper to resolve those to begin with what should i take when should i take it when should i not take it the thing you have to look at is with some of our products there's some overlap and the last thing that we need to do is overpopulate the gut because we have a lot of bacteria like trillions of bacteria strands in the gut and we have this nice balance that we have to create to have this harmony with your digestion. And if it's overpopulated, it's gonna create dysfunction. If it's underpopulated, it's gonna create dysfunction. So we wanna create this balance and synergy within the gut so it's overall health, we have good digestion, good absorption, good assimilation. Let's kind of talk with what competes against each other in a sense or can be too overwhelming for the gut. So we have our Daily Greens product. Within our Daily Greens product, you have prebiotics and probiotics. Prebiotics are what feeds bacteria, the good bacteria, but it can also feed bad bacteria if it's too much. Then we have our probiotic, which is specific strands that help repopulate the gut if you're too low in it. When you can get an issue here is if you combine the two and say you already have this over overpopulation of bacteria. What you can look for from a symptom perspective, if you start taking one of these as a standalone and you immediately start getting excess bloating, distension, foul gas, that's likely something a little bit deeper and too much overgrowth, so you need to pull it out. Same thing if you're taking our probiotic. If you take this supplement and then you experience some negative symptoms and they're consistent, then you gotta look at something a little bit deeper and then I would pull it out. Now, that is not to say if you were to take one of these and it's something new you're putting in your GI tract, that you may experience a little bit of dysbiosis or a little bit of dysfunction, a little bit of bubbly guts, a little bit of bloats, a little bit of gas, that's normal. As long as within three to five days, everything continues to balance out and you normalize and those symptoms dissipate and pretty much disappear. So you have to look at the symptoms when you're taking something because people kind of get in the mindset that this is a gut supplement. So I need to take one, two, three, four, five, six different things to have good gut health. And that's not the case. They all have a time and a place and you have to put context within this. That being said, there are some of our products that you can literally take on a daily basis year round and not have any type of negative side effects and it's just positive benefits. One of those is being glutamine. Glutamine is phenomenal to increase the strength of the mucosal lining. So we get those tight junctions tighter so we don't have foreign objects seeping into the GI tract and causing an immune response which can cause bloating, gas, and distension. So glutamine is something you can literally take every day year round, anywhere from five to 10 grams upwards of 20 grams daily, depending on the situation. If you're dealing with more gut dysbiosis or dysfunction, take upwards of 15 to 20 grams. If it's just maintenance, take five to 10 grams daily. And typically it's best to take on an empty stomach. Then we're looking at our digestate. These are basically pancreatic enzymes that's gonna help break down protein, carbs, and fats. A lot of times if we're dealing with higher volumes of food or we're honestly dealing with higher stress situations in life, so we're dealing with a lot of stress, our pancreatic enzymes lower, the level of those lower. We can supplement and support that by putting in digest aid with your meals to help break down, assimilate, and absorb the food much more efficiently. So this is something you can take on a daily basis with your meals and get a positive benefit of it. Doesn't mean you need to take it every day, but it doesn't have any negative effects if it's taken on a daily basis. The next one in line is our GI Plus. GI Plus is great for the kind of soothing, the healing of the GI tract. So if you have higher inflammation in the gut and irritation going on, it really helps soothe the lining, calm down that inflammation, and it can reduce symptoms. If you're having the symptoms of bloating, distension, even things like acid reflux, this can help soothe the lining and it can make those symptoms kind of dissipate. And this is something that's pretty safe to take all the time. I mean, you could take it year round, no negative effects. Doesn't mean you need to. I would say these are our three top products, glutamine, GI, 
and Digest A that you could take year round, absolutely no side effects, okay? Then we're gonna move into these three right here. So we have our fiber product, daily greens, our probiotics. Fiber is crucial to gut health. Most Americans are under eating their fiber. The fiber intake is very low because of the type of foods they're eating. Typically we call it the SAD diet, so the standard American diet. For optimal gut health, you want upwards of 40 to 60 grams a day. That being said, that is not a number you jump to. So if you're taking in low amounts of fiber, you have to gradually increase that over time. So say you're taking 20 grams of fiber in the day. We have seven grams of fiber within our fiber product. That doesn't mean you take two scoops and just jump that up to 35 grams. You're gonna experience stress on the GI tract and it can make things worse. It could even cause constipation. So one scoop, even possibly half a scoop, see what your tolerance is, see how well you do with it. And then small titrations up. You could work upwards of no more than two scoops a day, but that's over a three to four month period. We have to make sure that we're doing this stuff in a slow, methodical process so we're not causing any extra stress to the GI tract. So fiber has lots of benefits, but too much too soon can cause GI distress, and you have to make sure that we're not doing that because we don't wanna cause bigger issues than you're dealing with. But it's a phenomenal product because we have both soluble and insoluble fiber in that. A lot of people may add this to their daily greens. But you have to understand this also has fiber in it. It has six grams of inulin, which is a soluble fiber. But you have six grams here, seven grams here, that's 13 grams total. That could be a lot for someone to take at one given time. So it's not that you couldn't take these both on a daily basis. I wouldn't recommend taking them both together. I would separate the two out because that's a lot of fiber taken at one given time and some people can't handle that and you're gonna get some type of negative side effect from that. So best situation is just to separate these two. You can take your daily greens in the morning, take this afternoon or evening or vice versa, either is fine. But in most cases, you typically don't want to take these two together for most of the population. I'm not saying you can never do it because if you actually have got a good fiber intake already built and you have a day to where it's just been low for it for whatever reason, then you could put these two together. It's not going to hurt you. But again, it, it, it's an individual thing. If you want to take them together, take them together. See if you have any type of negative effect. If not, and it's all good after a few days, then by all means, continue to take these two together. But you just always wanna watch out for what's gonna be the best for your situation. We go back to our probiotic. Great addition if you're dealing with low amounts of the good bacteria in the gut. But just understand, if you're putting these two together, that's a lot more probiotic you're putting in the gut at one given time, and that could cause more stress on the GI tract. Base it off how you feel off of symptoms. If you get an increase in negative symptoms, take it out, see if those improve, this is likely the case of what's causing the issue. It doesn't mean you need to take every gut product that we have on our line. They're all great products. They need to be taken within context within your given situation. And if you can do that and you can balance these things, you're gonna have good gut health. And another kind of tactic that I like to use with individuals is even cycling through these. You could take daily greens for upwards of, you know, say 12 weeks. You take a break from this for about three to four weeks, go into our probiotic strand because it has a few different strands in it, take it for upwards of 12 weeks, rotate the daily greens back in because we have different strands in these even though there is some overlap. So it's good to cycle these. Fiber intake, you can take it on a daily basis. But again, guys, you have to make sure that you're listening to your bodies and don't take something just because it does promote gut health. Also take into context, your situation may not be a time and place to be able to take these and have the positive benefits. At the end of the day, you wanna make sure that you're taking the individual, you into account when you're placing these products in. In the best scenario, pick and choose what's good for your current situation. That'll optimize your gut health along with good nutrition. You're never gonna replace good nutrition. So always have a good balanced diet, get your fruits, your veggies, all the fiber, all the good bacteria from foods. And this is gonna supplement what you're not getting in from your food sources. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Our team will be here to help.